Hello everybody, welcome to the, this uh, mind beast I like to call the linear gauge. Um, in a way this is kind of how I, I myself put together music. Um, because I knew that the, although that there was one kind of style of theory everyone was learning, it did a piss poor job of really kind of helping me to explain so what's going, what are you supposed to do in your head? Um, so I got the idea of maybe I needed to take the instrument out of the equation, and I just kind of needed to sit with my head and practice, you know, listening and figuring stuff out without an instrument. Um, so I kind of put this little thing together, and uh, it's fun. Uh, uh, it makes you feel like a dum-dum, because what I've really kind of done is I've taken two sets of arbitrary information, the, uh, and one is for kind of the big ticket jumps, and then this is kind of for definition of where within these big ticket jumps is everything kind of going. Um, so what you need is you need two different languages. One to kind of do this, and this is where like kind of when people say chord changes or really big kind of uh, movements and stuff, um, they're talking about moving in this direction um, or this direction or this direction or this direction and as you're looking for more definition as you're trying to say okay so here so they want me to play a four chord so then this would be one two three four and one two three four and then a chord is kind of just a how you skip notes um, we didn't even add the accidentals in because that makes it really complicated um, but we would go over here to four, and then this note, this note, and this note would be its triad. Um, and you just have to sit there and calculate it in your head. And a lot of people, especially me when I started off, I thought this was nuts. Um, but, uh, I, I, I guess a quick little example of, hmm... Let's find one that I could get sued for. Happy birthday! No, I hate that song. Um, ooh, jingle bells. Something that starts on one. Mmm, some chord changes. Uh, ba. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna do it this way. So we're gonna start here, ba, and then we're gonna sit here in this one little chord. Ba 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 And then as we move up into this next little chord, this is right, and you know, this is the, 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 the two that we could say ba 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 But we're not here right now. In fact, we've moved the whole little chord <laughs> and our own little perspective of the root a little bit, so not, we're not working with, although these notes and these notes are the exact same, we're actually working in a different little chordal position, so ba 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 and you'll see the entire song pretty much never goes farther than here as it keeps moving, and you'll see it moves into the next chord, ba 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 Ba, 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 ba. And now as we move down to here, uh, this note right would be ba, ba da, 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 da. Oh, since we're not working over there, it, the whole chord comes back to over here, which we're looking for this note, which is over here. Ba, 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 ba. But there's a chord change that will happen in there, so ba. And that'll move over there, and then moves into ba, 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 ba. Right there is just a brief example of how, how much stuff is kind of actually going on. How you, how hard it is to actually discern this stuff. Um, and in a way, if you push a C, or if you push a C, or 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 a C, there's actually all different types of things you can do with just one note. And 
as you're moving in chords, these notes, these positions aren't changing. You are. Um, and you have to work through these notes and through this kind of weird arrayness of just genericism. Um, and I find the simplest way to do it is exactly what you see here. Set up one language as like generic primary positions and then set up another language to help further define it. Um, and then by doing that kind of little process in your head, that's literally just going on, I see this one little note and it's here, so I'm gonna move up to there, and then what's going on? And then what's going on? Oh, they changed the chord to somewhere around here? Okay, now what's going on? Now what's going on? And there's a lot of, it's really easy to get lost in here because it's just as easy to get lost in music. You actually just don't have an instrument to tell you if you're right or not. You have to use your own ears, you have to use your own voice. Um, one of my favorite things to do was just start here and just listen to music and just follow along with my eyes where the music would go and how it would kind of sit and fit together. Most of the times I would normally get lost by the bridge and that's the idea of, it. that's kind of where my focus would break. Um, and that was always a weakness that I just realized I, I was, would have. When the bridge comes in, I, you'll see, when the bridge comes in, I just kind of sit right back. And I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for the bridge to finish. Um, and although that's not exactly great, I know that every single time I'm going to do that because I will always kind of like, it's really easy to kind of get lost. So whenever I hear a bridge coming, I know there's a good chance I'm going to get lost. Um, because I'll be like right around here, or I'll be and fiddling around here, and then the bridge is just going to move over to a whole other kind of little section sometimes. Um, yeah, I'll leave a picture of this, uh, and let you guys kind of goof around with it. Tell me what you think. Uh, you, this I've used just a nice little half moon scale kind of gauge of, I guess new moon would be do, and the, or sorry, full moon would be do, and then the new moon would be the tritone. Uh, and then basically just uh, as farther and farther you get away from do, the more kind of, I guess, darkness shows up. Um, and that's just kind of a very simple way I like to kind of break down the primaries, uh, but you can use C, D, E, F, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, anything you want to kind of go in there. I mean, I used to also use 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, um, and that works just as well. Um, and again, finding a different language anywhere in here, you could use alphabet, numbers, you can use these whole shapes and everything like that and further define it in and over there. But it's the fact that you need to. Um, because when people are moving in these big, massive gaps, uh, they're not going to have the time to give you the details. Uh, and even if, you're, if, it's, <laughs> if the details are written out, you're not really going to be able to read it that fast. Um, so you're going to have to work with a limitation every single time of you don't know what the next note is. You don't really kind of get in all of there. But if you can make yourself comfortable of not knowing, um, and this is a, a, a sitting there and going, oh, I messed this part up. Or, you know what, I, I, I was playing up in this little chord and these notes were going over here, but I really, really, really think it makes more sense coming up over here. That's exactly what you're trying to do with this scale, is you're just trying to see your own thinking uh, and try and see where your brain is actually, like, going. Um, and one thing I find is everyone's is a little different. Everyone likes putting this together a little differently. Uh, and I'm actually interested to see what you guys do with it. So, one language one language, and just start off do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, and then it just keeps expanding, so uh, do would be here, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, 
do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, you, you get it, you get it. Um, if you don't, please let me know. Uh, I, I, of course, I will be redoing these uh, in a much better sense, but for now, thank you for your patience. Take care. Bye.